and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. When last did you hear this? Eh? When it comes to hooks, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. When it comes to hooks, this guy kills me. Kill, kill. Ah, medicine. I like both of them. <laughs> Is out here K O in the hooks, man. Hey. But 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 in as much as he KO's the hooks, right? And he done gone and KO'd some kid on Twitter this past week. Did us? Yeah. So what happened? So <laughs> I don't wanna laugh. I don't wanna laugh, but it was funny. Or maybe it was a publicity stunt. I don't know. Yeah. So this kid records a song, right, about his dad. Mm. And he features the mom on the song, right? Okay. So I think the mom was doing the hook. So he takes KO on the song and some yo dude, let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah. And then KO is like, nah, this is the. He basically said this is the worst piece of music I've ever listened to. It's trash. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and he said he said something along the lines of, yeah, I tell your mom to stick to her date. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is savage. So yeah, yo, shots I'm fired. I'm sure the kid was expecting some love from the man. Of course, you of know course, what I mean. It's KO after yeah. all. KO. Anyway, uh, welcome to ladies and gentlemen podcast in chill. We are back, and as you can hear, the ghost lady is not here. We don't know what's going on. So this is what happens when you don't pay people. <laughs> you can't call them out. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we have no idea where the ghost lady is. Non disclosure. Yeah, she's Non-disclo- gone. She just decided to vanish, man. Yeah, she's Let's gone missing again. again. But uh, she's luckily, a, she's a business lady. She could be at her place of business. Bis- place of business. She could be right, we never know. In the world, you know. I guess we'll only find out if she comes next. But isn't week. the ANC conference done? <laughs> was the EFF on the, over the weekend? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's still uh, finishing off. Yeah. Or uh, cleaning up at the EFF conference. Anyway, welcome to it. It is podcast and chill. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe. Uh, if you're not, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got our friend of the show, as always, Sun, aka Sanem, is in the field. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey. How have you been, Sane? What's up? How have you been, Sane? I'm good, man. Uh, yeah. It's good to be back. Thank you for guys inviting me. Yeah. Uh, this is a brand new month. Let's get straight into the shits, man. Uh, open up the industry. What do you guys think about that? What's your take on it? Opening up which industry? Hashtag open up the industry. No, no, no. Which industry? Like the entertainment industry. Uh, open it up how? Like, uh, you didn't, haven't you seen the whole movement? No, on? no, no. You see, so now I'm detaching myself from the whole thing, mm. right? I'm asking you, opening it up how? Like, let more people in the industry. New faces. Is there a door that's not allowing people to go in? Well, that's what I'm asking you. No, What's no, your no, take? I'm asking. I'm asking you. <laughs> is there yeah. a door? Is there a door that's closing people from going into the game? Especially, especially, I understand the frustration. Especially, and uh, 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 acting industry. Mm-hmm. You see the same guy in Muvango everywhere, and generations and. You know, there's but the argument there's is that those people go to auditions. Yeah, but you already things are skewed your way because you are no name. You you know what I mean. Mm. Uh, you you've built that reputation, so it's it's very rare that you see fresher faces. Yeah, and young people. But mm. our industry is not that big, though. No, it's not. So you're not gonna expect 55 million people to be looking for an industry that, at best, accommodates about not more than 5,000 people. Mm, mm. And I think the misconception about the whole open up the industry thing is everybody just wants to be on A. Yeah. Everybody wants to be the star of the soapy or the movie or whatever. If you want to be in a movie, shoot your own movie with an iPhone or a Samsung or a Huawei. I mean, people have done that before. And also, the other misconception that I think is there is if you watch the Mzanti, Med- no, Mz- one of these Mzanti channels, right? Yeah. There's always movies that are shown on a daily basis. Mm. Start there. Mm, mm. The first, the initiative starts with you. Oh, I love those shows, man. They funny as hell. You know the ones where they shit in the hood and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love those shows. They funny. Yeah, so Kadi, What's it called? The uh, you know in the in the in the in, the, in the, every castle there's a divide, room divider. Room divider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the ornaments of the dogs there. <laughs> But um, but dude, those shows are lit, bro. You no, know, they're cool. It's the like, quality is not that great. Yeah. It's like it's like Nollywood. Mm. Nigerians have uh, three or four or five channels on the DSTV bouquet, mm. and there's new movies all the time. So yeah. why can't we do the same thing? So what are you? Are you for open up the industry, or are you like you really the, don't care? The industry is there. You just have to find a way to make it work for yourself. 
Yeah. And yeah. But, 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 but to, 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 it, it's, it's one thing for us to say the industry is small enough. But the industry, as much as it's small, it's been dominated by a few fa- faces. Yeah. I think that we can take it into account. For instance, look at uh, in the acting uh, 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 sphere. Space. Look at Mbom Vango and both Kim Sam. Mm. They went and unearthed new talents. Yeah. And we loved what they've done. Yeah. Not going and hiring the same faces. Mm. They went to the hood. They found people who were not even experienced in acting. But those people delivered because... They do you know who does who does this uh, unearthing talent the best? It's got to be YFM. YFM since it started has just Absolutely. been unearthing. Yeah. New. Like the whole industry is people. Someone in <laughs> obviously they don't pay them. Do they, get, do they pay them? <laughs> you know. But anyway, it's it's something. It's something. You for have you to find a way. Stuff. You have to find a way to make your own. You have to find a way to make e- your own. Exactly. Quack, man. That's exactly. it. That's like exactly. how many people has YFM put on? To okay, you? let me put it this way, right? Uh, we say open up the industry. Cool. I get that. Let's look at somebody like Maps Pamponyan. Yeah. What does he do? Got no idea. Okay, cool. <laughs> but he's should, all should have been playing football. But he's all over mm. the he's all over the place. <laughs> Making more money than the he, average. Because he was yeah. able to be like, you know what? There's something that I offer that maybe people might want. Yeah. He yeah. went and I don't want to say cleaned himself up, but he went and adopted a certain way of looking. But you know what? Uh, making money with no talent is actually a talent. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> you got to commend that guy. That guy has no talent, but he's making more money than all of us put That's together. the same thing with sisters who are now in making it into the football industry with no television industry, with no skill, none whatsoever. Yeah. They're making the, the millions within minutes. They say strike while the iron is hot. And those that are making the guap are striking because the iron is hot. So everybody's just hating because, well, somebody just happened to be at the right time, at the right, or at the right place at the right time, and they took advantage. So why are you hating? Um, Euphonic once told me, right, like as a DJ, he's like, yo, dude, if no one's booking you, do your own gigs. Yes. yes. <laughs> and that makes sense, you know. Yes, yes. I, I think if we're having this conversation ten years ago, yeah, I'd kind of agree. But now, dude, there's so many platforms. Like you can just go and do your. Own. There's there's YouTube, there's SoundCloud. You don't need uh, someone to you like, can give you a shot. You, you can, can literally start your own radio show using your phone mm, mm, and record it. I mean, look at this it. guy, uh, Dimbopo. He came out of nowhere. Recording for in his car, doing those gig guys. Now he's big. He's huge. He yeah, created so his own platform, his own absolutely, lane. Absolutely. So all I'm saying is, <laughs> there's, there's more, there's more, there's more, uh, uh, there's more opportunities than it was before. There's no need to open up the industry. It's like people crying, like, no, we must open up the IT industry. There's too many. no. Just find a way to do like create your own lane. Yes, create your own lane. Find a way to do things differently than how other people have been doing it. Yeah. Speaking of the IT industry, how many black companies are rolling out fiber? You, mm. you see, hey, that's a good one. Hey, is that but we're all talking fiber and all this. We're all talking uh, 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 economic uh, uh, emancipation. Yeah, how many black companies are making money out of this rolling out of fiber? And, and fiber is a huge thing. Imagine you could do that in the billions, hood, bruh. it's worth in billions. Why, why, it's still gonna go to the hood one day, one day we'll get there. But all I'm saying is, uh, in the hood, they're probably gonna steal the, 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 the <laughs> wires. <laughs> What are the coolest people that are still electricity? Is in your is in your true. But all I'm saying is, ne, uh, in terms of open up the industry, I, I think sometimes we we, we 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 literally just complain about everything without actually looking at the merits of everything because yeah. there are so many people who have created their own brands and their own platforms because they were like, ah, they don't wanna let me in there, 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 there. I'll start my own thing. Yeah, and they went and they did that. Look at you now. Uh, what do you mean? You know. You started a YouTube channel. Ah, come on now. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I actually used mm. to, uh, wait, wait, before I like started into um, uh, commercial radio, I used to actually record uh, a radio show in my room with the mic that I bought from Incredible Connection. And I just interview like my cousins and my grandmother and my family. And, and that's you how you refine so your skill. Yeah. From, 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 from where you Which started. is pretty much what this podcast is like <laughs> now. <laughs> You went 100 <laughs> steps back <laughs> thinking back you were to my roots. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, you know, in this day and age, dude, and the thing is about, like, content, and, and, and if you're good, people will find you. True. If you're good, people will find you. Yes. So or you just have to find a clever way of people bumping into you. Mm. That's it. Mm, mm. But content is everywhere. I mean, the reason why black Twitter thrives is because everything on black Twitter is content. Yeah, yeah. And everybody just latches on, everybody, and I mean everybody, just latches on to whatever it is that is being discussed. So basically, Black Twitter, for me, how I see it in relation to the whole conversation about content, yeah. is that 
a bunch of friends sitting together and just having a chat. Mm. You can start talking about how plants grow to talking about the most ridiculous things and all of you are laughing up until you have a six-pack. Yeah, true. That is what content is. Mm. Mm. So people tend to want to want to... They try too hard. I mean, I mean, I think I think there's many ways of looking at the open the industry situation scenarios. I mean, there are a lot of industries that certain people have no access to mm. because of their skin color, mm. because of their connections, because of where you were born, because of where you come from. Yeah. I've just mentioned the fiber thing. I mean, I mean, I don't have the 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 with There's me. no fiber in porch. Exactly. Yeah. It's gonna go get there eventually. But who is no benefiting? Who mm. is benefiting? Yeah, it's gonna go back to the. Yeah, there's a lot of things that need to get to. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, I mean, who is who? Which black company that you know of that's rolling out fiber and benefiting for this wave of, 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 of this this era that we're in? Look, all I'm saying is like in in. We can't say okay, start your own thing and just roll out. No, it's an industry. It's only certain people who are allowed mm. to do that. So, but it, that's you know, but that's what we're talking at at, at grand scale now. You see, yeah. and. At that grand scale of studying, like, let's say, a fiber company or you're going to start a cell phone company or you're going to start a car company, for instance, that, that scale is too big because the raw materials and whatever it is that you need to execute that, Funds. we're talking about mm. a lot of money that you don't have. Mm. But for a measly hundred rand, for a yeah. lack of a better... But the, for instance, if we are to, meant to use that as an example, there are black uh, IT companies who are crying. Remember that uh, Rupert interview? Who are crying to get into that space, who, that resources and the skills, they can't. They even had to say, guys, we want to get into that space. Mm. We've got the resources. We're not saying people must freebies. No, we're talking about the people who are business people in that sphere with the resources and the, and the know-how, but they can't because they don't know the right people. All I'm saying is, right, yeah. if you want to open something up, it's up to you to make sure if you knock and nobody opens for you. And I love the words of Tupac. There was one documentary of Tupac that I watched. I can't remember. I think it's Resurrection where he explains that uh, if you go to a door and inside that whatever place of the door that you're knocking at, there's people who are eating and you are hungry. You go, you knock. Mm. And then nobody opens. Uh, I think he was actually even doing that, singing some sort of a song. We are hungry, please let us in. Mm. We are, at some point, you're going to be like, we are hungry, please let us in. If they don't open, you're going to go and bust the door open because you want to go in there. You're hungry. Yeah. So if you are hungry enough, go you bust the door and get into that game. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, on a lighter note, uh, what's your take on uh, Pastor Bushir? <laughs> are you are you going back to the, to, to the, to the basics of interviewing people now? <laughs> I mean, I, I smell jealousy there. <laughs> Come on. In the words of Andy Lem Kutama, I, I, I sort of, not 100%, but there's certain things that Andy Lem speaks which are striking the chord. And, nah, and, that and, guy um, is always talking scrap. Uh, no, nah, man. man, there's... He's talking I, scrap. I sense, I sense jealousy there. He's talking scrap. I sense, what do you mean he sense jealousy? I think Bushiri, they wanted to pin him down for the people who died, ne? and then they couldn't. I think he announced he was going to buy a 60 million land and all of those things. Boom, all of a sudden, he's arrested. Do you, do you think Bushiri is a false prophet? Of course. I mean, if you couldn't tell, if you couldn't, if you couldn't tell, the cops are coming for him. <laughs> How good is okay. he of a prophet? Then we're has, done. Has we don't have to go any further. Has this to the white churches who are throwing people? No. Hey, it's, whether it's, you love the race card, Sanele loves the race card. Eh? No, that's, that's no, 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 no. No, this is my, my opinion. No, true, this true. is this, this is straightforward, right? Mm. A guy is a uh, what they have him on now. The charges are something along the lines of fraud and racketeering and whatever. He was shipping money out of the country, taking it to, is it Malawi or Kenya? I can't remember. So if they've got the goods on him, they've got the goods. Forget the jealousy, forget the everything. We know the guy is a false prophet. I, I, I sit here and I say he's a false prophet. You can quote me on that. But no, religion man, we, is just a scam. We, we, we are not in the space to call the right prophets and the false ones. But we, in a nutshell, we, we religion is just a scam. Come we, on, we, we can't say he's it, the it, right it, one, he's the bad one. It's, from it's, from it's, where? Look. <laughs> not, I'm not saying I'm an atheist. No, I no, believe no. in God. <laughs> I just don't believe in religion. I okay. think it separates Here's people. my thing, right? My thing is, the same way that every scam happens, you find a way to get people to believe in something they know in their minds is not true. Mm. But they believe it in any way. Mm. And that's when you have power over them. Case in point, Bushiri and many other false prophets that exist. Yeah. I saw it's not I only in this country, mm. it's all over the world. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So uh, with religion, as you put it, it's, I think at its core, 
it was not meant to be what it is now mm. but somebody found a way mm. to maximize it because if you anoint yourself as somebody of a higher power than a normal being yeah it means that people look up to you and you become godlike as it were and that's how cults yeah uh, i think that's how cults, cults start that's how no cults i think begin. i think religion is being uh, uh, excluded is being set aside for being dirty and all of that in every good thing there will be people who will take advantage of the system mm, true. so why is it different with with religion yeah we should look at it in that way because we, religion because doesn't come up with something great but somebody will come up and do something bad in the same system but you can't say the system is bad. No, there is so there's, no, there's nothing special with religion. There is. I believe there's you something see. special with religion because it goes to the extent that there is something, a higher power that exists, is used to capture the minds of those who are not. Uh, uh, they they not. What's the word I'm looking for? They not. They not educated enough as it were in that thing in that space and you find that the most vulnerable people who fall victim to religious cults are actually people without money yeah i saw a story on yeah. whatsapp about which is what's yeah. said which yeah. is what's said i saw a story on whatsapp about a sister who was complaining her complaint was that she was told to pay a certain amount to see uh, the prophet and then it didn't happen. Mm. And then she's angry, blah, blah, blah. But I'm, but like, w- but why but I'm like, in the first place, you know it's wrong for you to pay for such services. But, but then you, you pay, but and then you come now, you complain. When you are vulnerable. No, you no, see, no, when you are but it's, No, 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 no. You, when you, you are vulnerable. It's, it's not, it's not. No, look, we must look at it at the first holistically. Time of, at the first time you of... Know that, you know that you should pay uh, Sanele, five the, rand for fixing your car. Sanele, Someone says, give Sanele, me 21,000, fix the car. And then you go there, and then you complain. At the first sign of trouble. The first thing you do is pray and look for God and where he is. If somebody comes and they present themselves as a channel to get you to that God, you surely are going to look up to that person <coughs> and sort of like worship that person as it were because they have introduced themselves as a channel to get to a God. And as a result, you, you'll be willing to no, sell but it's, it, Yeah, we are playing the victim thing. You know, no, we're not you, playing the victim you, thing. You, you, we are playing a victim because yeah. you know the guy. The guy says, my services are one, two, three, and mm. then you go pay, and then you blame the guy. But we're not all equally smart, and not everybody has the level of logic that you might have, that I might have. That you try, might have, have. try having this conversation with your parents. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> no-no. <laughs> with religion. And the, and the funny, <laughs> but here's a funny thing, though, ne? With, our parents, yeah. with our parents. Mm. I find that most of them, the, obviously our parents are older, most of them attend the traditional churches. Boma Wesele, Boma Enghieker, Boma Anglican, the ones where you wear separate on the first as a day. Man. Yes. Mm, you know. And those churches, yeah, you'd pay like five rand because they need to build a new wing of the church sure. kind of thing. Mm. But it was not at a level whereby they were saying, oh, no, you must tithe 10% of your salary so that you must make sure that the pastor lives good so that the pastor can deliver the word of God to God properly for you and all of that bullshit. Yeah. So our, our, our parents, yeah. it's, it's, <clears throat> it's in how you're going to bring the topic to, to them mm. as opposed to the topic itself. If you're going to argue about church and religion in general, yes, they're going to hit you. Yeah. But if you're going to come and speak about Pastor Bushiri, Pastor Mangmang, because churches are springing up all over. Freaking hell, we could call it podcast and church. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, my, my worry is as a society, I don't know, especially in this... In I'll this, be the bridge. In this technological age, we are becoming choosy on the topics. We never deal with the topic holistically and look at what's happening. We're not becoming choosy. Uh, and we I think are choosy because we're like, okay, this day religions, people are chowing more money, but people are bringing more money into the church. Why do you bring a man when you know it's, you should not do that? Because they don't you know are any vulnerable. Better. They don't know any better. Ch- churches have always been there. This is the new thing of money into the church. It's, it's, it's new. We know the, how churches have been operating. Like you were saying about uh, bringing your five rand. Now you know that you didn't bring uh, uh, big money into church, but you are taking your money and then you cry after that. But do you think you the people the that money. go to Pastor Bushiri's church think like you? They know what you know. No, but they know what's right and what's wrong. No, They're not no, kids. No, no, They're no, not kids. No. No. That's why you're getting it wrong. Knowing that you're going to pay you, a You are speaking amount. at a fortunate place because you're wiser and you're more educated. What you're doing is... So they no, pray on... Not even fortunate. Not you're really speaking guys. from a point of privilege. Yes. No, no yes. Guys. guys. This is black privilege. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. We all know how a church is supposed to operate. Why is today's episode so serious? 
because uh, there's three niggas and there's too much to test the room. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, too, uh, in, 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 honestly, in conclusion to this thing, I think if you find a way to manipulate people, and because people need an escape, mm. people need that. Sp- do, do you understand that sports is a cult? Yeah. It is. It's uh, a sport. Even can, like the beehive, that Beyonce thing. Yes, those, like, those girls will do whatever she says, dude. To, to them, they, she's like God. If they say, if she says, apparently there's some chicks that don't eat now because uh, she's a vegan. vegan. Yeah. They, that's a cult. I saw that uh, you're going to get a lifetime ticket if you go <laughs> vegan. <laughs> 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 you know, go to concerts for free for life. No, but guys, we, when we, in my, my worry, is this just my opinion? My worry is that when something happens and something bad happens as a subject and then we deal with it, we must deal with it holistically. I mustn't just because, uh, I'm not saying the other person is, is, is correct. When last did you go to church? We, okay, we, let me do this. When we, last did you go to church? About then? last year. Yeah, it was the end of last year. Do you know I ran away from <laughs> Sunday school? <laughs> eh? Ah, yeah. You kidding? Okay, I didn't run away from Sunday school. I got kicked out of Sunday school. What? Yes, because I was, I, was, I was young and I was asking questions that I thought were practical. Because mm. I was asking, you know, the ladies who teach there at Sunday school there. And what age was it? Was this? I was five, I think. Five? Yes. It was just as I had started school. Jeez, dude. Because I started school at age five. Talk about being a rebel. Yeah. Well, do you think that's rebellious? I didn't even... I ran away from crash as well. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this guy. Son. <laughs> I'm being serious. You're, you're awarding us. <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing? How the hell away from Chris? I'm a crash dropout. First day, I kid you not. Uh, son, you, I'm a crash dropout. you left your young, uh, cute-looking friends the same age. You just dropped out. So, okay, this is a story, right? Let me start with a crash. This one. makes sense. This is why we can never progress in life. <laughs> you just don't finish what you started. Yeah. <laughs> what a crash, dude. I don't even remember what my crush was like. Yes. So I remember Sunday school. Yeah. Ah, that one also. Well, that one I got kicked out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So mm. crash, nah, there. I go there. Beginning of the year. So I get there, right? I'm used to when I'm at home, I wake up whatever time I wake up. I eat. I go to my grand. Like, ah, I'm hungry, you know? Yeah. And I run around, play with my friends and all of that. So now a new routine is starting. I'm starting crash. You get there, they make you sing. I'm like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> okay, cool. And then at a certain time, you must eat. And the food was horrible. Yeah, the food was horrible, bro. Yeah. It was hor- It's like that food was just made so that you can just eat and just get the hell out of those people's faces. Like prison food. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? <laughs> if I close my eyes, it sounds like you're talking about prison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Effectively, look, there's crash, ne? And there's, what do they call it, the ones here? In kindergarten. There's kindergarten. You know? <laughs> yeah. There's grade R, you know, there's grade RRR. And there's nursery and there's all of these things. School. You yeah. see, at a nursery school, you eat food that is nutritious, balanced diet, boy. And okay. my son is starting crazy. Let's hope so. Is he going to crazy? Oh, he started yes today. <laughs> You have a cousin that age. Your bundle no, of joy. No, 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 my, my son. Oh, your son. My oh, son. He's, he's bundle of joy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't turn out like you. <laughs> well, did he? Okay, we'll see. Just check if he's going tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll know. So effectively, the food was horrible. They made us sleep when they felt like we needed to sleep. Mm. And you played when they felt that you needed to play. And I but couldn't... But you could not have a say at that age. I know. <laughs> I know. But what didn't work for me was how the whole thing was structured. And then... I decided, I'm explaining it now. It's not mm. how I thought about it then mm. with the logic that I'm using now. Don't get me wrong. There's, yeah. there's something that's been bothering me, dude. What? I was braying last week, ne? and I found myself using onions on the braai stand before you put the meat. And I'm like, yeah. why am I doing this? Why do, you, why do we have to do that, Vel? Because you, uh, you saw me doing it at my house. I saw him doing it at his house. Why do we do that, Vel? So I don't, because apparently it's, 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 it's the, the advertising. And it's <laughs> it's <laughs> the advertising. The onion business was not making money. So <laughs> yes. Yes. We thought like, yes. let's find a way to do this shit. Yes. Like, see, that's how cults begin. We're doing yeah. something that we don't know how it. Yeah, why like, we like the same thing in the at, at the gym. Emakaya say food, sonne. You go to that thing, but what is it called in the gym? In the sauna. Ma- it's sauna. called the sauna <laughs> nonsense. It's we've been doing this thing. You know. No, we, but please explain. Why do we do the onion thing on the bright stand? I don't know, uh, it's, it's guys. Just, if you're listening, please help us out. I don't know why I do it. I think it's to disinfect the the the, the, the to clean that to uh, clean the bright stand. But we don't know how. I, I don't know. So why can't you use a dishwasher, sunlight? Yes. Because it's it's 
how can I put it? It will, I mean, it's gonna make the, the, the meat is gonna, because I can get dishwasher and it might stick on the on the thingy. Oh, yeah, the dishwasher is a bad example. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like jiggy. <laughs> By the way, that's a bad that example. We're talking about it's not so it's the steam room. Oh, oh steam room. Excuse oh, us. Sorry. Yeah. See? <laughs> privilege again. Hey, Point of privilege. <laughs> hey. Anyway, I didn't finish my story when you came here with your onions here and shit. <laughs> anyway, so me and a friend decided that we're not gonna stand this thing. So when it was time to sleep, yeah. right? Yeah. We pretended like we were sleeping. Yeah. So my teacher, I go, or those people who look after you go, go crash. Yeah. But like I when you were busy sleeping. Yeah. So we got up, we went, and we went to the back of the crash. So the fencing, your crash, it was like normal fencing from the hood, like back in the days. Whereby if you take a piece of wire and you keep like bending it repeatedly, it ends up breaking. Mm. So we broke. That sounds it. like a prison break. <laughs> In a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially that's what we did until there was a hole big enough for us to get out. And then we just went home, we played, and then my grandmother didn't even take notice that wait a minute, crash I saw it. What the hell are you doing? And here? you've never been back to crash ever since? No, sir. <laughs> I was actually shipped off to school the following year. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, your favorite couple's got a baby now. You're a problematic son. My favorite couple, Swiss Beat and No no no. no. Who? Loka. Bring it home. Loka. Uh, you wanted to interview on the podcast. She's only pregnant. They don't have a baby yet. Yeah, but she's pregnant. Yeah, I saw her so hacked. Why? Because she's the one that got away. I don't know why I think that, but she's just is. But uh, I've got a new crush now. Uh, we're talking about Manza and Lexi, by the way. Son, if you don't know what we're talking about. The family bond. Was it family bond? What no, big brother. Oh, okay. I remember they had, they had, they had, they had a, reality sh- a reality show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch that video when they were smashing in the No, big I was not a fan of big. I, I'm generally not. We've had this discussion on the podcast. Is it, before. Is it that ninja's baby or it's just a pregnancy <laughs> linked to the brand? <laughs> we don't know. We should ask him. You're so close. <laughs> we're not close. I just, I just like her. I just have a crush. There are a lot her. of ninjas who think their father's. She still looks hot in her pregnancy. I'm not saying people don't look hot when they're pregnant, but she's her clothes on some other level. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Did you understand what he said? No, I'm trying to ignore what he said. <laughs> Bambisi penalt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole show on Moja Love about that. What? Penalties? Penalties. No, like um, uh, people that are fathering uh, children that are not theirs. Yeah, those are penalties. Yeah. No, but uh, that thing is it's not bad as long as you know that kid is not yours. We <laughs> accept those things. But let's not be tricked. <laughs> uh, what else we want to talk about? Oh, yes. Uh, do you know Munewa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Munewa, yeah, the yeah. singer. What happened to her? Uh, she happened was to caught uh, for drinking and driving. Mm, I thought she was caught. Was she hanging out with Muslim? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> son! I thought you were gonna say she was caught somewhere in 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 in, in the Middle East, uh, you know, pushing business and stuff like no, that. No, only yeah. drinking and driving. Uh, clearly, she didn't watch Muesli's campaign. No. So clearly, Muesli's campaign has no. It had, yeah, it 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 crashed wrongly. <laughs> it didn't land. There was no smooth landing. <laughs> so have you guys ever been arrested? For yeah. Yeah. No, but I've been arrested though. Yeah. yeah, I think I've told you the story before. No, no, no. no I've been arrested because I didn't pitch up for court. Me, me, I was arrested when they were drink, the, the drinking in public thing was serious. So you've been when, arrested in the 1960s? Yeah, for like a few hours. Dumbass <laughs> plus drinking. Yo, 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 yo. That's a lot, brah. That's a lot. No, I was arrested when I was in matric because I didn't pitch up for court. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I spent. So I was, I was 16 when I was in matric. Yeah? Yeah. So when you get arrested at that time, I can't be arrested and put in the same cell as like. The real dealers. Sanele and, you know, his yeah. people his age. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was put in a cell, and the cell that I was in had, like, paintings of the Lion King. Paintings? And flowers on the wall. I kid you not. It's like, what uh, how do you call, is it juvenile delinquents? Yeah. I was in a juvenile delinquent cell. Ah, okay. Yes. You yeah. might have been put with young girls there. I mean, I'm No, worried. you can't be put with uh, females in, in holding cells. The way you're describing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, 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 just, it's just a prison cell or a holding cell that had paintings on it to give you that calmness as a child or somebody who's 16 years and younger. Dude, you know I was arrested in winter, and there was only like one blanket, those thin blankets. Oh mm. my goodness! Never again am I going back to jail. No ways. Fucking hell! Remember you had to bail me out. Mm, I remember. <laughs> and the story is crazy, bro. <laughs> Let's not go I into. I saw it. something on the newspapers. I used to go. I used to go. I used to do some dumb shit, dude, when I was young, bro. So that's why I got arrested. But it was drinking and driving, basically. 
you were young and dumb it's fine we'll yeah. forgive you yeah. it's okay I've, I've seen those stories where there's a ninja rocking up of nowhere claiming to be a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> and you must pay for that because <laughs> you're desperate yeah, anyway, this shit, this shit happens, man. This shit happens, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, uh, let's check out what's happening on the WhatsApp line. What have people been saying on the WhatsApp line, bro? You got it the phone? Do I have it today? I don't know. Let me check. Yeah, check if no, you got the phone. I, I, was yeah, do WhatsApp us, subscribe, do comment, share, uh, and yeah, let us know your thoughts, your comments, whatever you want to say. There was a sister whom the, the, the our viewer said she must be a guest. What happened to her? Which one? Last the last week. Is it last oh, week? weren't you telling me about her and Maps Maponyani? Kim, Kim Jade. Jade? Is he, is he, you the one who told me this this past weekend. Uh, ah, Kim Jade and You said that I cannot, I can neither deny nor confirm, but you mentioned something along, the, along those lines. Yeah, you said something it. along those lines, no, I no, think. No, no. Yeah. Anyway, uh, going to the WhatsApp line because we never actually get to do this. And, and I feel Kim so Jade. bad every time. Oh, we finally got a message from uh, Mesh Ego. Who's that? Yeah, the, you know Whoa! the. You know Mesh Ego, Beautiful. the gem yes. that we played the last time Sanela yes. was here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he sent us a message. He's like, yeah. yo, McG, it's Mesh Ego here. Oh, wow. Just watch the episode where you guys plugged my music on your show. I really, really appreciate it, man. Oh, I feel nice. blessed. Shout out to you and all your team. God bless, niggers. Nice, nice. So, so big up to Mesh Ego. You he's, think his streaming is going to go up? We hope. <laughs> we hope. But uh, I think at some point we must have a live thing, you know, where people can come. Now we're working on that. Showcase their, their talents. You know? Yeah. Because like I have a podcast mm. and chill and live yeah, and whatever. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. and people don't like putting their names. Or do they think that, like, we're going to... We want to say, like, yo, what's up, man? I got one here from a lady who looks very beautiful. Mm. Whoever your name is, I'm not going to say your number. Hello. Uh, he's, oh, she says, hi, McG. Hi, Len. Hi, ghost lady. So glad you all now have a WhatsApp number. I'm catching up on the previous episode since I've been on leave the entire January. Aren't you lucky? Oh, no, not really. MacGyver and Sunil have been on leave. <laughs> now I'll I'm back at work. <laughs> catch up work. Hmm? <laughs> now back at work and it's lunchtime, so I podcast and chill. We're going to get people into trouble, man. Remember you were saying you watched our first episode the other day? That was horrible, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's, yo, yo, it's, yo, yo, it's their lunch time, man. It's their talk time. about talk about talk about amateurish things. <laughs> talk about amateurish things. That yo, episode yo, yo, is cringeworthy, bro. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I know people talk about we try to open the industry there. <laughs> we padlock the industry straight up. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. That episode was bad, bro. It was hard anyway, uh, going to another message from another lady who looks hot. Mm. She doesn't say her name. Mm. Uh, she says. I uh-huh, just watched the interview with Begs and Terrace, laughing my ass off. It was somewhat cringe. Begs and deviated like there's no other, but shout out to McG. He was there with the spicy question. If you watch that episode, Begs and part two, he was drunk. Mm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it, was late, it was late for him. And somebody has a crush on me. She says mm. her name is Norma Temba. She mm. says, I'm just about to watch yesterday's show, but the crush I have on Len Moleko, yo. Little does she know she's crushing someone who. This is a crash dropout. Let's <laughs> 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 not uh, uh, expose your CV, son. Or I'll get you in trouble. But do you... Okay, here's my thing. What did I miss out on? I didn't go to crash shop. Am I going to go put on my CV? Or I was in crash for two years. That shit means nothing, man. Yeah, yeah. The street is where you learn. Son, son, you're not the judge. You are the one supposed to be judged. No, 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 so no. The, people no. the, street, is, the, the street is where you learn, bro. <laughs> like, not crash. Crash makes you, like, think, like... You become boxed. You we don't know box. if you went to the streets or you went home. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up. I grew up in the streets. What are you talking about? Jeez, I grew up you in the streets. You could have went home for your uh, afternoon nap. You know. <laughs> well, those I used to take, but I genuinely feel, honestly, when the day comes that I have a bundle of joy or a data of or a, what do they call it? A fiber of joy, mm. of and kept of joy. Uh, <laughs> that homie is not going to school. You're gonna get homeschooled. Mm. So, so is it just crash? Are you going to take him to primary school? No, 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 no. Homeschool. From, uh, t- from, uh, from when he's born? Yeah, I'm going to teach him from day one. Are when, you serious? When he starts crying, nah, he must do ABC. Nah, dude, you got to take him to school, man. Is, uh, For what? Let, let him be a father first. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get ahead of ourselves. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm speaking to the universe, man. Come on. What's your guys' problem? I'm yeah. speaking to the universe. So having gone to school, you think it's, it's, it's a waste of time? When last did you use Sol for X in your life? Algebra. Yeah, after that. 
I've never. Have you ever been trying to make on a girl and be like, yo, I'm the Y, you the X. Let's solve each other. <laughs> you could have used that. Could have worked for you. What do you still with, use? With the, with the sisters. What do you still use that you learned from school, Sadia? Uh, me, I'm using my, uh, my, my, you know. He's even trying my, to think about it. My, my hustling skills that I got from home. Yeah. School, nah, nah. Yeah. We're not even learning about who we are first. Uh-huh. That's, that's it. Yeah. We're not even learning how to hustle. It goes there. Yeah. So the, uh, this education... School, is, is school just teaches how to, how to obey. School made you lie, bro. Yeah. Like, you come back from the June holidays, the first thing they ask you in Afrikaans is like, yeah, write an essay about me <laughs> People are like, okay, maybe that, that's where creativity came about, whereby... You were writing about Cape Town, but you're even lying because you're describing Durban when you say, Horno, Ekvas, and Kapstad for me, Fakansi, Eka, and me, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So maybe in the level of creativity. I could even ask you to write that in Soto, by the way. I never went to a school where I had to learn uh, one of the, except for English Afrikaans, I didn't learn in any other language. Like in China, all the kids, they study online, like from a young age. Yeah, it makes They don't even go to the school. Yes, yes. 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 So do you I think su- it's becoming I suppose, Look, I suppose it's, we had this conversation about work. Having to go to a building, is it necessary? Because there are so many jobs that you can do off-site at home. But a lot of discipline comes with that. So first and foremost, disciplinary is something that you're probably going to pick up at school. I think there should be a black school, like where just black people go and they teach us how, <laughs> how, it, how to survive as a black person. Go to every ta- township. Black schools are all over the place. What are you talking about? <laughs> No, the curriculum is not black. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what he's trying to say. So. Yeah. No, I just think there should be schools that teach you how to create and not sort of like own something and not work for somebody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The schools now teach you to obey and no one ever teaches you but how to we become are not a boss. boss. But we are not but, all designed. We're not system, all designed yeah. to own. The we system was be. designed so that there's cheap labor called the townships. Mm. The world, that's this, how the, this, this is what the education system is all about. That's how the world operates. You are being trained to look for a job. Yes, that's how the world operates. And the townships look at the, how strategically they are, they are, they are systematically they are placed so that there's cheap labor. Mm. Because if they give you one rand an hour, you said, nah, f- there's the next person who's going to take that. Who's hungry, who can't even feed themselves. Because so now well, imagine you there was a school in the township that taught you, okay, cool, in the real world, if you're a black person, this, this is, is how you got to move. Yes. Maybe it will work. I don't know. This is and this is how the system system is what our government should be focusing guys, on. Guys, it's a Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasheni, bo. Kasheni. Yo, guys. You need a ah, <laughs> People are supposed to podcast and chill. Y'all are making people think about, yeah, ish. In, in, it's, you know. it's education. No, 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 no. Come down, guys. Come down. Relax. Yeah, Relax. We, we'll start our own party, son. We'll start our own party. Oh, yeah. Going to people politics. Party. Eh? Ah, it's it's going going to politics. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that will work much easier, much better for you. Yo, don't come in. Yeah, says you're killing me, bro. It's a Monday. Yeah. It's a Monday. I just came from a very cool weekend. Mm. Yeah, my weekend was cool. Yeah, be- before I forget, I mean, to, to You've got another CD. Be- to, to government, <laughs> we need to see. <laughs> yes. took a while oh my yeah. goodness if you haven't no, watched guys, other episodes it probably is it's gonna fly you over but guys, if we think as black people <laughs> the other people are gonna empower us let's forget it's not gonna happen guys why, i said why, it's a monday why are you why are you preaching to, today guys i said it's a monday so you see I, you see already the podcast and church we've got a preacher yeah two <laughs> when he's taking a break i will join in yeah yeah so we just need to have ipads where we're gonna make sure we upload bibles and then we like a 21st century kind of church. I'll be head of entertainment. Yes, you'll play the, the music. Mm. And then we must just speak to one of the big four. Nedbank, APSA, Capitec, to have an ATM inside the bank. Mm. So you don't have an excuse to say, oh, no, I can't pay uh, the man. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's sorted. Are we uh, done uh, preaching uh, now? Uh, uh, son, do you want to lead us with the uh, uh, last sermon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, Thank what? you for the opportunity. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. I want to see government must make sure that we've got black companies that um, are rolling out fiber. It's fine. I've got fiber at home. But is it black owned? I don't care. Is it black owned? And as long as I'm connected, it's cool. Yeah. You should, I've got you, my you, Netflix. You, you should care. That's an American company. No, not really. Imagine, imagine at the rate that you're thinking now, right? I dare you, as of when we leave here, everything that is not black 
rid yourself of it. Oh, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, I can't do that. Yeah. When you leave How? here. How? Yeah, I'll walk to the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starting with that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cal food. Yes. On then you gotta take off, you gotta take off the okay, shoes. On on which uh, which road are you gonna take? It's Chinese, by the way. It's not well, white. Everything not that black. is not black. Mm. I'll walk on my foot, my my perfect. Okay. Are you gonna take uh, which chron part is gonna lead you to your house? It doesn't matter. It's a path, so nobody owns a path. You can tire it. You don't own it. And what are you gonna eat tonight? Uh, I'll eat what I've killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> In the words of the, the very famous Leon Schuster, Leon Schuster yeah. I only eat what I've killed myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, but yeah, anyway, I hope we're done with the preaching because time is about to run out and I think half of the show was about preaching. Yeah, no, uh, that's what happens when Sunil is in the building. Yo, guys in. Of mm. course. You guys, it's only Monday. The week has not started and already you guys are depressing me. Yeah, no, sometimes you have to come back to reality. <laughs> no, you want us to lie to you and say all is good. No, man, we're not going to give it the way it is. <laughs> We're not gonna fake it. It's a weak fact, though. Guys, you know, I'm sitting here. I'm thinking the lotto is 200 million kasa ne, and is it tomorrow? Yes, it's tomorrow. Mm. So I'm busy calculating numbers in my what head. What are your chances? You know, I don't know. Close to none. Are we? I don't, we don't. Is it black owned? The lot? I, I, is it what? Black owned. I don't care. Then you can't play. I don't care. <laughs> he can't play. I'm playing tomorrow. I've got a budget. I want my para to play the lottery tomorrow because I win the 200 bar. Yo, you're never gonna you you're gonna have to make an appointment to see me. Mm. Guys, we're not gonna change the world if we pretend we're all good. Mm. Cheers. Mm. You want another 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah, teach us. Part two. Uh, teach us. We must accept things the way they are. Mm. That's the first step, then we can change. I think Sanel is taking change. Monday motivation too far, eh? <laughs> that thing finishes at 12. This is what unemployment does to you. <laughs> It makes me feel We are out of here. You end up reading scriptures. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to you the government, tell... we need uh, uh, people, uh, black companies to, to roll out fiber. You can tell it's been eating him up. <laughs> so when the ghost lady couldn't make it, he's like, yes. <laughs> Whipped out his book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we are out of here, man. Do subscribe, do comment. Back at it next week. Hopefully the uh, the ghost lady will be back. Yeah. I think if she was here, it wouldn't be so serious. Well, this is another episode of Monday Motivation brought to you by Podcast and Chill. Courtesy of Sanele, a.k.a. Sun. And don't forget the fire bar and the black companies. <laughs> we want you. <laughs> Podcast and Chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.